Welcome back, Connecticut, to Your Purpose and Business TV, where we highlight the top of purpose-driven women and men in business. I am so excited to get into today's show. We are diving into the popularity of using artificial intelligence tools, AI, such as a chat mm -hmm. GPT, the positive and negative sides of AI, the importance of giving back to the less fortunate, and how anyone can use podcasts to leverage their brands and businesses to generate sales. Show me the money, honey. <laughs> All this as we chatted up with my co-host and resident tech expert, Leticia Bryce, and guest. That's right, Raquel. And I can't wait to chat it up with our guest too. But first, we'll be talking about my probably unpopular opinion and genuine concerns for AI, what I would use it for and where I would draw the line. So stay tuned as you don't want to miss this. So Leticia, we see AI and the power it possesses where it's helping people in ways such as writing blogs, articles, helping with school essays in record time. And though these are some great benefits of the software, I do know of a few downsides to using AI, but I'm curious to hear from you. What are your thoughts about AI? And do you have any concerns about the ways in which AI, such as ChatGPT and other chatbots are impacting the world? Yes, I do have concerns, Raquel. Uh, as you know, I love tech. I, I'm, I love to see how we, we innovate and we just come up with new things. I enjoy seeing these things every day. But when it comes to what has been recently released to the general public, the power behind things like chat GPT and the, the different AIs, I'm, I'm a little bit concerned, um, I have to say again, because of what the what you can now access, okay? So yeah. you can access so much information and put it all together as if it's your own. Mm -hmm. And I want to say it's different from how it used to be, where you would just Google and you get you get you get information, right? Which is to me, I think that's where we should stop. But we should be very careful about allowing the information that we gather through uh, through Chat GPT and all of the other AIs, and not pass it off as as if it's speaking for us as if it's coming from ourselves. We we don't want to lose the humanness behind things. You know, you want to be able to still create. You want to still be able to express your own opinions. You want to make sure that um, there's not an issue where exactly what you put out, mm -hmm. someone else has put out as well. Absolutely. I, I agree. And um, I think we'll, we'll see as um, it things role, you know, um, in terms of where chat GPT and um, other chatbots will take us, but there are some genuine concerns there. This also leads me to the latest news. Um, according to an article, Mashable.com, that reported Jeffrey Hinton as the godfather of AI, mm -hmm. that he has recently resigned from Google to warn people of the risk of AI. So there are other business owners such as Elon Musk, others who are saying that we need to slow this down a bit, you know, and um, because we obviously we don't have control over AI right now. And so that concerns me. And from my what I can see, I totally agree. I, I think, you know, the powers that be and these engineers um, should be able to you know, slow it down so that we can understand it first before, you know, we release it further out into the world. But then again, I don't know if it's mm -hmm. too late. <laughs> yes. Um, usually when you come up with a huge, big tech, something that's, you know, really out of the box, mm -hmm. we tend to just dive right in, go full, full steam, and we don't consider the risk. And so we do need to slow down a bit and we do need to consider the the ramifications of everything and we do need to put um fail safes in place for right. sure right and um, we've even seen where there have been so many people that have been laid off because of ai and future hires so there's a particular company that has thousands of future hires that they're going to just cut because they're going to use ai to cover those duties and so that they're, they're being replaced even before they have a chance to be hired 
Yeah, absolutely. And that's a good point right there because we've already seen, Leticia, um, at the starting of the year, major tech companies that have laid off so many persons. And it is heartbreaking because, like you said, it do did not give them an opportunity to pivot or to learn, you know, how to use, you know, a certain, um, you know, AI software or chatbot. And so it's, it's sort of like, you know, the rug has been ripped from underneath them. So what would you say, um, Leticia, because I know that you're in this space and, you know, what, how, what advice would you give for anyone that's working in tech or working in a job that, you know, AI could potentially come in and pretty much um, take away their job from them? So what advice would you give to um, someone to prepare themselves um, for what's to come? Yes. So I would say while we're being cautious about how we use it, we want to be, be ethical. Um, we want to make sure that we stay within the bounds of morality. We, you definitely don't want to kind of just put your, you know, your head in the sand. You, you should learn about it. You should learn how to use it. You should learn how to use it properly. Um, also, what the thing that's going to be needed most right now is learning how to actually prompt it so that you would get useful information so that you can um, be able to edit certain things in a certain way. So I would say learn how to use it responsibly so that you will, you know, you will be hireable. You will be able to keep your job. You might be able to slide into a slightly different role. So we, we're not saying any of this to scare anyone, just to be, make you aware. And as, as with tech, you, you do need to learn it so that you can use it to the best of your ability. Yeah, ab absolutely. And, uh, you know, because uh, these days I feel like we're all in the twilight zone with everything that's going on. <laughs> and like you said, it's our responsibility truly um, to use artificial intelligence, AI, with caution and for the good of humanity and not just the harm of humanity. Because with everything, there is a positive and a negative side. But of course, we want to educate, use our platform to educate that do not fear it, but to be aware um, of the concerns as well. Yes, I agree. Um, and just this whole thing feels like um, what it would be like at the beginning of one of those uh, artificial intelligence takes over the world type movies. Yes, <laughs> so yes. We, we want to be careful on how we use it and we want to have sale, um, fail safes in place. Yeah, absolutely, um, Leticia. So it's been great as always chatting up with you, Leticia, especially as it relates to tech and current events. It's my pleasure as always, Raquel. And coming up after the break, we will be talking with an entrepreneur as she shares with us why she decided to start a foundation giving back to single mothers and their children. And we'll be right back. I'm Abby Kivish, certified juice therapist, and I help women from all over the world with juicing and learning about the power of holistic health. You can find me on my website at abbykivish.com and you're watching Your Purpose in Business TV. Hi, my name is Sherry and I help moms find work from home jobs. You can find me at AFTH Virtual Adult Solutions. You are watching Your Purpose and Business TV. Most entrepreneurs struggle to make progress and achieve their business goals. But in the Digital Growth Hub, you will be guided through each step in a way that will keep you focused and on task. You deserve to make progress, achieve your business goals and live your best life. And I'm going to help you get there. Visit LeticiaBrice.com slash progress to get started today. Hi, my name is Mikaela and I'm the Coupon Genius and I teach people how not to leave money on the table. Now you can find me on TikTok, Instagram, and all the platforms with my name, The Coupon Genius, and you're watching Your Purpose in Business TV. Hi, my name is Sherry and I help moms find work from home jobs. You can find me at AFTH Virtual Adult Solutions. You are watching Your Purpose in Business TV. Welcome back, Connecticut. We are so happy to introduce our first guest, Pauline Dobson. She is passionate about philanthropy and giving back and has recently celebrated her one-year anniversary of her charity, Pauline's Foundation. Welcome to the show, Pauline. Thank you. Thank you for having me on the show. Yes, it is. It's a, very, it's a pleasure to have you on the show. So tell us, what is the purpose and mission behind Pauline's Foundation? So uh, Pauline Foundation was founded May 6, 2022. Um, it was it was the purpose for this foundation is the it's the life struggle that I've been through 
since I was a little girl. Um, I grew up with my, my grandmom and my mom. My mom passed away when I was eight years old. My grandma was the one that um, she, she was taking care of me throughout my whole life. Um, and growing up, I didn't have everything to get. Like growing up, my grandmother couldn't afford uh, for me to go to school. So we couldn't afford like, for example, like school, like backpack uniform and stuff like that. Sometimes we'll, go to, sometimes we'll go to bed without eating. We'll go to bed hungry and stuff like that. So I grew up like a, in a really tough, tough situation, like a tough um, lifestyle. So I want to, the reason for this foundation is to be able to help other children to not go through the same, um, the same life struggle that I went through. Uh, and I also want to be able to um, help single mothers out there um, because it's not easy being a single mom, especially when you have to do everything on your own. It's like you're you're literally doing two parents' job as once. So that's mm -hmm. my that's the reason why I want to be able to be I want Pauline Foundation to be able to to be the resource for single mothers to benefit from to also be able to help their children and themselves. Right. And so, Pauline, that's, that's so amazing to hear the backstory as to the purpose behind your foundation. Thanks. So we all know that having a purpose and leaning into that calling of that purpose through execution and helping others is at times challenging, right? So yeah. tell us what drives and motivates you to keep moving forward with your goals of providing like these necessities that you spoke about, such as food, clothes to single mothers um, and children around the world. What really motivates me is um, like when I give back, when you give back to the, the, the single mom or children and you see smile on their face, I think the smile really do motivate me a lot because you, you like just by helping somebody to smile, you know, we need more people to smile in this world. So that's what really motivated me to be able to see this uh, single mom smile and see the, the children smiling. That's what really motivated me a lot to keep going. Yeah. 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 Wow. So, Pauline, you've recently celebrated your one-year anniversary for your foundation. Yeah. What is that feeling like to know that you've made an impact on so many lives in one year? Um, I, I, I don't know. I, I felt so, um, like, I just felt so excited during the anniversary because it's not, I was looking at all the struggle from day one when I started, and I was like, Man, I can't believe I already made. I can't believe Pauline Foundation is one year today because it like someday I will go to bed crying. I'm like, man, I really want this foundation to. to I really want people to notice it. Foundation. I want people to know about it. I want, I want us to have sponsors and stuff like that. So that's those are things that I used to be like. I'll go to bed crying, but then I kept going and going and going, and nothing really stopped me. So that was the thing that really makes me happy that I didn't give up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, because uh, having a foundation and trying to really build it up is not easy, you know. Mm -hmm. And then you have your personal life too, and it just like everything piled up. So that was something that really, really makes me happy on that day that we're able to reach one year. Yeah, that that's a huge accomplishment, and um, I just want you to know that because it's it's obviously it's not easy, especially when you have a calling over your life to right. give back in the way that you've chosen to give back. And so, what's next for Pauline's foundation? Please share with us some of the goals you have, and share with us how anyone tuning into the show can help. Yeah, definitely. Um, so our goal for our goal is for us to have. Um, more more uh, sponsors to be able to sponsor us because we're literally just we're one year so we definitely need sponsor um, and our long term goal is for us to have a, a center where children can come and get assistance like a real uh, like a center where every where single mom and children can come and get assistance so that's that's our long term goal. Wow, Pauline, I think the work that you're doing is valuable and is so needed now more than ever. Thank so, you so much. Yeah, you're welcome. Share with us how our audience can connect with you, contribute, and even sponsor the continued growth of Pauline's foundation. You can definitely check the, our, west, our website because we'll usually get donations through the website. Definitely, definitely, the website is, is, on, my, is on my Instagram page, uh, Pauline Foundation. 
um they can follow our instagram we also have a youtube page so it's like all the work that we've been doing we try to put them on youtube so people can see exactly what we're doing so everything all the pictures on our instagram too every videos and stuff like that so they can definitely use our our website that's that's amazing Pauline. Yeah. and just share with us again you know um which countries are is it in the u.s that the pauline's foundation um service and um also give all these necessities so like like i said before uh pauline foundation is around is uh, is international uh we really pray i really go i just go everywhere um we have a year in the united states we started from here in the united states um, and it's also in Liberia, it's in Ghana. We have uh, someone's in Ghana that's in charge and Liberia also. And we'll also try to do it um, here in Connecticut and Rhode Island because we, live, we just moved here from Rhode Island. Thank you, Pauline, for being with us today. Everyone, please help to make a difference by donating, if you can, to Pauline's foundation. So before you go, Pauline, tell us again how we can connect with you. You can definitely connect with me through my website, um, through Pauline Foundation website, Pauline Foundation, Pauline Foundation website, and Pauline Foundation Instagram page, and our email too. I, I will respond quicker through email through our foundation because, like, the page is active every time I will be on it. So I will I'll be able to connect over there. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for being here, Pauline. It was a pleasure speaking with you and learning about Pauline's foundation. And guys, please do um, donate and or sponsor the growth of her foundation if you can. Thank you so much for having me on the show. You're welcome. You. Coming up after the break, we will be speaking with a talk show host, social media influencer, and a podcaster who will share how you can leverage podcasts to get paid. You don't want to miss it. We'll see you in a few right here on Your Purpose and Business TV. Hi, my name is Lamara Hand. I am the owner of Go Natural Skin Care. I help people find their natural beauty and their natural skin. And you can find me at www.shopgonatural.com or on Instagram at Go Natural. And you're watching Your Purpose and Business TV. We are living in challenging times. And despite having a 9-to-5 job, you still find it difficult to pay your bills and have money left over to spend on experiences that brings you joy. If you're at a point in your life where you know that there is more for you, you want to start a side business and express your multi-passions but you're not sure if your gifts or ideas can be profitable, believe in yourself and connect with us over at RaquelWalters.com and let us help you to get clear on the knowledge you have that you can monetize right away. I'm Raquel Walters. And I'm Letitia Bryce. And if you have a business that you want to feature on TV, we want to chat with you. So you definitely want to connect with us over at yourpurposeandbusiness.com. I'm Dr. Natasha Simon Christie, and I help student nurses graduate with their confidence intact. You can keep up with me at www.natashasimonchristie.com. You are watching Your Purpose and Business TV. Welcome back to Your Purpose and Business TV. We are excited to have our next guest, Coriel, on the show. She'll be sharing with us everything about podcasts, from starting one and using it as a digital marketing strategy that anyone can profit from. Welcome to the show, Coriel. Thank you for having me. I'm excited to be here. We're excited to have you. So let's dive right in. When you look at social media, one of the things that we're seeing is that podcasts are becoming more popular, especially video podcasts. Why is that? Um, so I believe that podcasts are literally the wave of the future. I know that a decade ago, uh, maybe about 15 years ago, if you would have told us that we would be following somebody on the internet, we all would have just been like, no, you're crazy. I'm not going to do that. And now it's the norm. Um, and as entrepreneurship and business changes and, you know, marketing starts to change, the things that we're using personally as consumers typically becomes a part of our marketing strategy. And that is, is in my opinion, what podcasting, you know, has become. So at, at one point, you know, when you started your Instagram, 
account. Nine times out of 10, you were starting it to post pictures, right? Same with Facebook. You were starting it to connect with your friends, you know, to stay connected. And now most people are using it for business. Mm -hmm. Same with podcasting. I think a lot of people got into into the podcasting space at the beginning because, you know, they had a message that they wanted to share and they um, were maybe interested in the media space, but they weren't necessarily getting into podcasting as a marketing strategy. Now, people are starting to realize that your podcast is literally a digital marketing strategy, just like a Facebook ad, just like an email newsletter. And so I think that people are realizing that if you can capture someone's attention for a longer period of time, mm-hmm. you have a much better opportunity to convert them from a listener to a customer than if you just have their attention for a short amount of time on other social networks. And there's actually research out there that says like, um, on average, people spend like six seconds on an Instagram post and then they're scrolling, they're on to the next. Versus a podcast, the average amount of time that people listen to a podcast episode is 26 minutes. So that's a huge difference from trying to get somebody to do whatever you want them to do in six seconds versus having their time and attention for 26 whole minutes. And then you're much better able to create that relationship, to nurture that relationship, to gain their trust and to, you know, convert them into a customer. Yeah, absolutely. That is a great stat right there. 26 minutes versus six you know seconds perhaps on instagram right Mm -hmm. um so so tell us how can business owners or anyone for that matter how can they start a profitable podcast if they're thinking about doing so and how can they use that um to leverage their brand or their business Yeah, for sure. So starting a profitable podcast, I think the biggest thing from the very beginning is to be intentional. Um, When I started my first podcast in 2000, 2016, (laughs) I did not have a strategy. I didn't know what I was doing. I was one of those people who I just referenced that was just interested in media. And so I started to show it wasn't a marketing strategy at all. Um, And I didn't have any structure, no strategy, no intention. I was just doing something, doing what I was led to do. And because of that, because of the lack of a um, strategy and intention, I went years, like six years without monetizing, monetizing my show. And so the number one thing that I would tell to anybody who is interested in starting a podcast is to definitely have an intention around utilizing your podcast as a marketing strategy. And the way that you can do that is to literally infuse um, into your message part of what you do. So if your offer is, you know, in life coaching, or maybe it's in accounting, or maybe you're an author, you want to make sure that you are naturally incorporating that into your conversation. You can also um, set your own businesses up to be your uh, presenting partners, your sponsors, your, your advertisers for your show. So, you know, you don't have to wait for a company to come along and advertise, you can advertise your own business on your own show. So you can create a commercial for your own show, you know, and that way you can monetize whatever it is you have to sell. You can also create branded merchandise once your show starts to grow and your, you know, your listenership starts to increase and your downloads start to increase by creating branded merchandise. That's passive income, you know, a passive income stream that you can leverage every single time you do a video a podcast, you could be wearing your own t-shirt or your own hat, or, you know, you can be using your own notebook, your own branded merchandise. So you are seamlessly promoting it. And then you're also able to passively uh, monetize. So those are two ways. And then the third way, which I think is probably the most common way that people expect to monetize is through advertisers and brand partnerships. The challenge with getting advertisers is that the benefit of them advertising with you is to get in front of your audience. So if you don't have an audience yet, there's no benefit for them to advertise with you. So advertisers come once you start to build up your audience, once you start increasing your downloads, then you can start expecting bigger brands to want to advertise with you. But those are just a couple of ways that you can monetize. So watching you on Instagram, you're a big advocate for black women and of course, women of color. And I love this about you. So share with us why you believe a black woman and women of color deserve to live the life of their dreams and make an impact in especially the media space and other business spaces. I believe that black women's voices need to be heard. We have been spoken mm-hmm. for for far too mm-hmm. long. We have been misrepresented far, far too often. And I don't think that we've had a fair chance to speak up for ourselves. Um, And so I think 
not even I think, I, I know that a part of my purpose is to gather the Black women together and show them a different way. And that different way is really helping them to realize that they were created for a specific calling, that there is truly a purpose on their life, and that it's time to start living life on purpose. And so I really try to, to be an advocate for, I try to use my voice for, I try to um, leverage my platform to promote, encourage, inspire black women because we are often I don't want to say we're forgotten about but we're not always valued we're not always considered we're not hardly ever are we pushed you know in the forefront we're always in the back doing the heavy lifting but not always getting the credit and so anything that I can do um, anything that I have, I try to share with or create space for other Black women. Um, and it's always been Black women that are creating space for me. And so, you know, it, it, I, I really think that we have to be advocates for one another because there, there's enough coming against us for us to be, you know, coming against one another. So anything that I can do to leverage my platform for my people, that is my goal. Oh, I'm just loving that. That's awesome. And by the way, I just love the name of your talk show, Girl Stop Playing. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> tell us about the show and also tell us who the show is for. Black women. Listen, anything you see me do, Black lady, it is for you. Okay. Any of the things that I create, I'm creating them with you in mind. So Girl Stop Playing is where I encourage you to stop playing with your potential. And it's really all about me sharing and creating resources to help you make the money and get the honey. So have the success that you want to have professionally, but also live the life that you desire to live personally. I think far too often we are taught, we're raised to believe that you can't have it all. You got to, you know, you can be Miss Independent, super bossy, be successful, but you can't have no man. Or you can be a homemaker, have the babies, you know, be the mother, but you can't have a business. And so I believe that you can do it all. You can do both if you desire to do both. And so um, Girl Stop Plan is my opportunity to be able to connect you with conversations that will help you do both, that will help you have it all. I really, really believe as long as you are willing to work for it, you can have it. And so I am blessed and just honored to be able to have some amazing conversations that really, truly are meant to move the culture forward. Thank you so much. That's so inspiring. And it's been so great talking with you. So just let our audience know one more time how they could connect with you and work with you. Yes. Find me on all social platforms at Coriel. You can also log on to Coriel.com. You can log on to girlstopplaying.com. And if you're interested in my media mentorship, you can log on to positionedandpaid.com. Love it. Thank you so much, Coriel, for coming on to the show and sharing all you do with our audience. It's been a pleasure. Thank you for having me. And there you have it, Connecticut. Another great episode. Thank you to all our guests. And if you want to showcase your business on our show, be sure to set your DVR and pull up with us next week as we bring you everything from tech and business to strategies and systems to help you elevate your journey of entrepreneurship. And don't forget to binge watch past episodes and keep up with us at yourpurposeandbusiness.com. We'll catch you next time.